In this video, I'm gonna be drawing an underground hex crawl map for my new monthly Patreon adventure, Flick Silverpin's Guide to the Red Growth. Every month on my Patreon, I make a new tabletop role-playing game adventure zine. These books are for dungeon masters to run a good one-shot or two-shot or three-shot adventure. And this month, January, if you're watching this video right when it comes out, you can go over to my Patreon and sign up to get Flick Silverpin's Guide to the Red Growth. This one took three playtest sessions to run through, so this one is extra jam-packed, full of everything you need to run a hex crawl through a ruined underground city full of mushroom people and dark spawn. One of my favorite parts about making these monthly zines is getting to fill these books up with tons of illustrations and maps. I love making maps. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be working on in this video. If that sounds fun, go check out the link to my Patreon, see what it's all about. So let's jump over into Photoshop and get started on this underground hex crawl city adventure map. So I'm starting off with this sort of isometric view of a hex grid, basically just a hex grid tilted at an angle. And that way I can get a little bit of depth going on with this cavernous city map, but still have it be a hex grid for hex crawl, which is what this adventure is gonna be. So this is actually a pretty simple map. I know that there's four major locations and really this whole process is just me trying to figure out how to show those four locations on top of the hex grid and sort of give enough information that the players are gonna wanna explore because this is gonna be a player facing map. The zine will come with a big 11 by 17 printed out map that you can share with the players. So I wanna give enough information that they can see what's going on, but also not too much information that they kind of figure things out. And really the purpose of this map is just to have a nice simple way to keep track of where the adventuring party is traveling in this underground city. So I've started off super basic, just roughing everything out, and I'll be adding on more and more details as I go. So on top of this hex grid, I know there's gonna be three spires, these sort of columns that go from floor to ceiling, as well as the Emperor of Worms. And really, I should back up for a minute. So the worm that I'm drawing in this image is the Emperor of Worms. It's a giant worm. It was last month's Patreon adventure where the players get swallowed by this giant worm and have to make their way through. So this month's adventure starts with them coming out the backside of the Emperor of Worms into this giant cave with these three spires. So the title of this month's adventure, The Red Growth, comes from this super poisonous fungus that is spread all over this cavern and has sort of ruined this city that the players are gonna be exploring. So instead of drawing these hexes filled with little mushroom houses and stuff, this whole cavern has been taken over by the red growth. So really this adventure is traveling through this maze of super poisonous fungus and encountering all the dangerous stuff from hex to hex that's all listed in tables and stuff in the actual zine. So I realized before I get too far into drawing all of the fungus everywhere that I needed to label these locations. So I'm cheating a little bit and I used a font on its own layer, turned the transparency down and I'm tracing over it. Just a simple way to make sure that the labels are really extra legible, but I'm also using the same brush that I'm doing the rest of the drawing with. So it all fits together and looks good. Because this map is so zoomed out and the red growth is this mold everywhere, I felt like I was kind of losing the mushroom vibe of this civilization of mushroom people. So I thought it'd be cool along the bottom border to, you know, draw some big mushrooms as if they're kind of in the foreground. The idea being that maybe you're up in this cavern, like looking out at everything and you're surrounded by mushrooms up in a little cave area or something. I did go kind of overboard with it and you'll see as it goes along, I kept adding more mushrooms and then I scaled it back 
um, just because it it started to get a little distracting and I want the focus to be the actual map. So in these zines, the interiors are printed in black and white and I always add a 25% gray layer to all of the illustrations and maps just to add a little bit of depth to the drawings. So all of the red growth fungus mold stuff is gonna be filled in gray and then I'll use it in a few other places to to add some detail. But really, this map isn't that complicated. Like I said at the beginning, you know, I don't wanna give all of the secrets away. And this is kind of a, an abstract map, really to help players keep track of where they are within the city. So I don't know, I hope watching this process of me trying to figure out how to draw this map. You know, I've never drawn an underground, isometric, hex map, cavern, city, fungus area before, but really it's not that complicated. It's just little, like little clouds of fungus and, you know, lines for cave walls and stuff. So yeah, I just wanna encourage you to give drawing a map for your players a shot, even if it's some weird map like an underground Fungus land. <laughs> Speaking of having fun making stuff just because, I've decided to color this map just to see what it looks like. You know, a dark cavern filled with this bright red poisonous fungus everywhere. I thought it'd be cool to see it in color. So I'm just adding a little bit here as a final step. So yeah, last thing I wanna say is if this red growth adventure sounds cool to you, or if you'd like to support this channel and the videos I make, please check out the Patreon. It's the first link down in the description. And if you're watching this video right when it comes out, January, you can sign up and get the Flick Silver Pins Guide to the Red Growth Adventure. But if you wanna get it mailed to you, it's only in January. It'll be in my shop later on, but yeah. Thank you so much for checking out the Patreon. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!